Americans in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Cotter told an extradition hearing that he made false statements to the RCMP about buying weapons four years ago because Pakistani security officials had tortured him. But the Crown accused him of lying now to minimize his involvement. Abdullah Khadr's younger brother, Omar, is being held in Guantanamo Bay. In business news tonight, a powerhouse start to the week for North American markets. All it took was some encouraging news on the U.S. economic recovery, indicating healthy growth in the service sector. I'm Deborah Arbeck. Coming up on CTV News at 11.30, saying goodbye to Helen Rumack, a Montreal advocate for handicapped patients and elder abuse, passes away. Her story later tonight. CTV News at 11. Best in class power, torque, and fuel efficiency. That's nothing new for the professional grade 2009 GMC Sierra. But this is pick up an 09 Sierra and receive up to $8,500 in cash credits. Plus, now get six inch chrome side steps at no extra charge. Visit your GMC dealer today for the 2009 Best in Class Sierra Clear Up and find out about our new 60 Days. Canada's number one newscast. A new case becomes personal for one investigator. A hitman? Only to do it alone. And he'll have to face the ghosts in his past. Need to ask you a favor. Real dumb move. An all-new Criminal Minds. Wednesday at 9, 8 central on CTV. The search expands in Laval for a missing woman. It's not normal if she don't call me. We have a very close uh, relation. Just what happened to Natasha Cornoyer? Thank you very much. A voice for the handicapped and the elderly is silenced. She would not stay silent in front of injustice, but especially in front of people who cannot defend themselves. Hélène Rumac passes away. And Montreal police try to brighten a cyclist day. CTV News with Deborah Arbeck. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. The search has intensified for a woman who disappeared in Laval four days ago. Natasha Cornoyer was last seen leaving work at Corrections Canada. A $10,000 reward has been posted for any information that helps police find her. Maya Johnson has more. After an intense weekend search for Natasha Cournoyer, Laval police say they haven't ruled or has few answers. Maya Johnson, CTV News. Mourners gathered to pay respects tonight to a Montreal woman who gave a voice to the handicapped and abused patients. Her bluff has more on the life and death of Hélène Rumac. If there was patient abuse at a Quebec health care institution, chances are Hélène Rumac was involved in the fight. Some people are trying to improve the situation, but there are no means, there's no coercive way to do it. She cared for people. That was her main concern. She cared for even animals. She cared for life. She was a very loving sister. She took home my cousin, who was severely disabled. From Lee's, we learned that these people had no voice. She would not stay silent in front of injustice, but especially in front of people who cannot defend themselves. Helene later founded an organization called Handicap V Dignité, working tirelessly from a cramped room in her basement to help mentally and physically disabled, elderly and other patients facing mistreatment and neglect. Her partner says when Helene took on a cause, she was like a bulldog. Paul Brunet of the Patients' Rights Council worked with Helene for five years at the public curator's office. Uh, some people would say that she was radical, but always for one purpose, the sake of patience, and never left any, any, uh, anything uh, when it came to a patient's rights group. And uh, I, I, I was sad then when I heard that uh, Hélène had died. Hélène suffered from diabetes and years of heart disease, but still put others before herself. Many people paid tribute to her at this funeral home in Montreal's East End. Thank you very much. Helene's partner and brother say Helene was an extraordinary, compassionate woman who died too young, 61, with so much she still wanted to do. 
There's still so much suffering going on. And I hope Hélène now from where she is, that she will inspire other people to pursue her work. Helen Rumack was a fighter to the end, even speaking out against a bath mat she thought was unsafe for patients at the Mary Clarac Institute where she died. Funeral services will be held on Wednesday. Herb Luft, CTV News. A tow truck driver remains in custody pending a bail hearing on Thursday. James Castonguay was arraigned in court today. The 22-year-old is accused of hit and run causing the death of an 18-year-old woman. Her body was found at